Okie doke, we're back. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and just give you an overview of what we're going to do here in this uh, tutorial. And that is, I'm going to show you how to pause the footage of your student athlete um, so you can distinguish you know, them on the playing field and then be able to highlight uh, the play that they're about to make. So how you do this in Sony Vegas, um, or at least the way that I've always done it, um, Here's the clip that I'm working with right here. This is going to be a goal. Okay. And that's the player right there. So I actually, that would be probably a decent spot to pause him at. You know, you just want to make it so that you know it's him. You know, it's a pretty decent shot. I like to pick ones that are in focus. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do here is set my, uh, my, my mode of uh, preview to best and save snapshot to file okay that'll save that particular image where the cursor is at and that's the one I want to save and I'm gonna use the default uh, file name structure which is image 3 because that way they'll just go in order you know next one will be image 4 and go to my uh, media project media window and I'm going in as you can see, my cursor's in the same spot. I haven't touched it yet, so I can easily just drag this clip into the timeline right at the cursor. Okay, so that's what I want to do because as he's running, I'm going to stop him. I'm going to freeze him for a second. See? Freeze him. Everybody knows that's him. <clears throat> and then we'll pick up the footage right there. I, I only freeze him for like a couple seconds. You know, just to distinguish, that will do. So right there, I'm just going to trim that. I hit S on my keyboard to, to split the clip, <clears throat> delete the rest of it. And what I'm going to do is, I want it to be so that the clip just picks right up, like where we froze it at. So to do that, we're going to have to split this clip here, right where it happens. and just simply move everything back the length that I'm pausing for just like so so like about like that and then undo that which when I say that I mean the auto ripple button and then I'm gonna move this clip back and I'm gonna drop it right in between the slot there um, before I do that I'm actually gonna move the rest of the clips back just a little bit more so that it lines up see how it does that with the blue line so you know that you're right in alignment and I'll turn off the auto ripple and drop the still image down into that uh, timeline I like, to keep, I like to keep everything that way okay that might even be a little too long to pause the, to the action for just a, just a couple seconds is fine okay all right um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create like a triangle image to highlight him even more so because <clears throat> all we're doing at this point is pausing the footage. But I want the people or the coaches to know where the player is at on the field. And what I'm going to do is simply right click in the timeline of where I want this to appear and insert generated media. And I'm going to choose solid color. Add OK. <clears throat> I'm going to edit undo that because I forgot to hit the auto ripple button <coughs> and I've that'll get you every time. So always remember when you're inserting generated media like I'm going to do right now, your make sure the auto ripple button is not on. Okay, solid color, add, okay. And that way it just puts it right on top of it. And I'm going to just trim it back so that it's just the size of the still image. To trim, just simply click on the end of the file and then just drag it. Okay, so it's a pretty solid white color. Um, what we're going to do is drag the opacity <clears throat> excuse me, down a bit, maybe like that. And see that there's a square. And I'll blow this up just a little bit more so you can see it better. <coughs> there is a square 
or it's like a cross on these clips and when you that is the event effects button so if I click on that <coughs> it brings up your a, a video of a, a video event effects and the effect that I'm going to use is called the Sony cookie cutter I had stumbled upon this when I was looking at how I could highlight players for these highlight reels and this seems to work pretty good so I, I stick with it um, I'm going to use the triangle um, actually that like when I built it from scratch that's what I did you know I used the triangle and um, <clears throat> I'll just do that <coughs> use the triangle and then cut away section and turn the size this is one way that you could do it. See, there's a couple ways that you could do this. I mean, there's more than one ways to, to, or more than one way to get things accomplished. So this is a whole other way that you could actually set this up. Is you could freeze your, you could show your player like that. Matter of fact, I kind of like this better. <laughs> I'm stumbling upon something here, and and I think I'm gonna stick with it. I like that. That's cool. I'd rather see the player and not see the rest of the people like like that. That's kind of neat. So. You know, that way when it pops up and we got him froze, and then there he goes. So that's something new for me. I'm just going to do the exact opposite. So what I used to do was cut away everything but section, see, like that. That's kind of traditionally, you know, how I've seen things. You know, sometimes it's a, it's a circle or what have you, but I kind of like the other way because it shows the player, and I don't know, either way will work. So you just want to make sure that you're lined up, and here's how you line things up, see. You just move it around so I, th I think that works maybe I could bring the size down a little bit by clicking on the button and just pulling back just a teach <clears throat> now I have audio on on this um, I can just extend the audio on that out um, and how I can move the audio without the video track is to hit this key here called the ignore event grouping button and I should be able to slide that audio just like so. Now what's happening is that it's duplicating. Um, so what you also could do is add like a sound effect here. You know, just to emphasize what's happening. Okay. Alrighty, so that is how you pause action on a highlight reel and add like a significant character to outline a player in and then go right back to the action so that will help you out tremendously when you're trying to um, emphasize a highlight um, of a player in you know a highlight reel uh, for college recruitment